Located 30 miles north of San Francisco, along scenic Highway 1, Tamales Bay stretches 15 miles from Bodega Bay to Point Reyes Station. Tamales Bay is dotted with weathering dairy farms, rustic oyster stands, and charming waterfront inns. Nick's Cove is a cluster of 1930s cottages that has quickly become one of San Francisco's hottest weekend escapes. This has been and continues to be the place that people come up Highway 1 and they stop and they stay and they eat and they drink and they have a really good time. We're staying in Bandit's Bungalow, a two-bedroom waterfront cottage that's perfect for families. This place is so charming, you gotta check this out. Our cottage has two bedrooms. This one is so pretty and it overlooks the bay. Look at that amazing view. And this is another great feature, your own private deck. If you can't stay the night, be sure to make a reservation for dinner. Executive chef Austin Perkins, an alum of the Michelin starred Cyrus in Healdsburg, serves up a delicious seafood menu using the bounty of local farms. Start out with an oyster sampler, then dig into Austin's decadent crab mac and cheese. It's hard to go wrong with, with mac and cheese. Uh, being where we are, Dungeness crab season is currently going, and it's something we can get year-round, and so it really kind of evolved. Uh, we started with regular mac and cheese, and we threw some crab in it, and people seemed to respond positively and went from there. While you're here, the great outdoors beckons. You can hop in a fishing boat, go on a kayaking tour of the bay, or cycle down Highway 1. Foodies shouldn't miss Hog Island Oyster Company, where you can shuck and smoke your own oysters along the waterfront. When you grill them, do you grill them before you open them? I like to shuck them first, then put them on the grill. I just slide off the top and don't cut the bottom muscle. I keep the oyster liquor inside them. Yeah. That's that little water. Um, and what, what do you recommend as far as using that? Or, Which oyster? Really? You don't, you don't want to barbecue the little ones. No? They, they just kind of shrivel up into nothing. One of our favorite stops is Cowgirl Creamery in Point Reyes Station. Housed in a restored barn below the bay, Cowgirl Creamery is celebrated for its artisan cheeses, which are served in top restaurants throughout the state. From Wednesdays to Sundays, if you come between the hours of 10 and 2, you can actually see them making the cheese. Coming on a Friday to actually have a tour of the place. After you see where they mix up the cheese and they get it going, they uh, wrap it up and they store it in this little area here. All right, we're gonna try the Red Hawk that they're famous for. That's Red Hawk. Okay, and what would this be like similar to? It's, like... uh, it's a triple cream, but it has a washed right. So it's a little mm. more pungent than like a brie. Yeah, a little mm -hmm. bit. Good. A little creamy. Yeah. Another cool thing, they have a retail shop where you can pick up any cheeses you want, some wines, you can make yourself a picnic basket, and uh, go enjoy the beautiful bay here in Tamales Bay.